Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on this occasion, we'll have a short interview with Emilio Artiaga. He's a junior partner at Vasquez Tercero and Cepeda Abogados in Mexico. Actively represents and advises clients in trade and business law matters. He has supported foreign firms collecting evidence for foreign trade remedy investigations on trade and custom law matters. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much, Emilio, for this opportunity and sharing some experiences about Mexico. How would you say, how difficult or easy would you say is to set up a startup in Mexico? Well, it's definitely difficult compared to other jurisdictions. The main difficulty is the tax aspect, and that is having a tax representative with his tax ID number and his digital signature. You need an accountant in this regard. But other than that, the process is quite straightforward. It just takes a bit more time than foreigners are normally used to. As a foreigner, once you go through this, do you need a Mexican partner or there's a minimum of shareholders required? Yes, there is a minimum shareholder requirement and that is to individuals or legal person. Foreign investment may be allowed, but has to be done through other legal mechanisms like trusts. There are some activities that are exclusively reserved to the Mexican nationals, and there are other activities that are reserved to the Mexican state. All business is allowed to foreigners unless it's restricted. Do you have any idea at least of some of these uh, commercial activities that all the Mexican citizens may engage with? If I recall correctly, the management of security in ports, custom stations, uh, in ports, packaging, but it's just a matter of what would the activity would be and determine if it's restricted or not. They say nationalize a foreign company in Mexico, like to open a branch. This figure is a branch, as you, as you mentioned. There's some similarities with the process of creating a company. In that regard, creating a company and having a branch ends up having a tax representative. There are some tax considerations to take into account and, of course, the legal responsibility of the foreign company with its clients or providers in Mexico. Maybe it's better to blind and make only responsible the subsidiary in Mexico. For a foreigner, is it possible to acquire, to buy, or invest in real estate in Mexico? Does it have to go through, does he or she have to go through any kind of process prior to buy real estate in Mexico? There are some restrictions on foreigners to acquire real estate. As individuals here uh, new, yeah. would have to set up a sort of trust to be able to enjoy and use the land that they seek to acquire. And for companies, this is a bit perhaps more simple. I would like also to disclose that I am not a real estate attorney, but companies with foreign capital can own land. They would have to include in their bylaws clauses. Other than that, that would be some of the restrictions to acquire land in Mexico. Would there be any reason or advantage for a foreigner to buy with a Mexican company or trust or something like that? I, I guess I'm going to give you the lawyerish answer, which depends. <laughs> the tax aspect, because having a company in Mexico is not cheap. You need to pay your tax representatives, especially if you're a foreigner. That is not a small amount. So I would say it would have to depend. It depends if that purchase of land, uh, you seek to rent the land or the property. So maybe if it's a business oriented activity, maybe it does. If it's a personal decision, perhaps it's too expensive to do it. How would you advise a foreigner such as me? If I buy a condominium, a rental property, I probably have to pay income tax on the rental that I get, right? Definitely. If, if you lease the property, you will be subject to some income taxes and uh, potentially VAT as well. If that property is not for household uh, matters, if you have a source of income in Mexico, such as renting a property and you don't have a tax ID, in theory, the, the persons that are going to be paying you should withhold some income taxes. Why solution, I guess, for those that don't have a, a tax ID? What property taxes are in Mexico? The property tax is a local tax. Mexico is a federal republic. We have about 32 states. So you would have to go state by state. You have to even go to the municipality. What would you say are the three flagship services that your firm has 
A. We started, as you mentioned, BTC with abundant experience in international trade and industrial policy. Our firm has evolved and right now we offer a full service in international trade. In the manufacturing sector, the possibility of this soft landing creating the company, tax compliance, and the possibility of obtaining the IMEX program and its compliance and everything that comes with it. And with this evolution of BTC, we recently have new partners, Ivan Simansky, who has experience in antitrust or competition law. We are continuously evolving. We joined Aliot and now we are continuing strengthening our our services. Complete explanation. I'm pretty sure we'll get some ideas and prospects out of this interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Emilio.